Hi, I am Rebecca Brightly from Dance World Takeover the Blog, and I have a really super excellent move to show you today. It's called Swivels! If you're a guy, don't leave. I promise you that if you learn this move, people will find your dancing more attractive and more manly if that's what you're going for. If you are a lady and you're interested in this move, you'll be happy to know that it's an integral part of the Lindy Hop partner dance, not just a solo move. They happen on the one, two of the swing out. Swing out, Google that if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, and let's get started. Swivels on! Take them forward, you can take them backward, you can take them close together, you can take them really deep down into the ground. So, what I'm going to have you do first off is put the weight on your forefoot, the front half of your foot, so that your heel has a little bit of lift off the ground. And you're going to pivot your heel back and forth. This is just standing on one foot, either foot does not matter, it's not directional. Okay, so if this is at all difficult, you're going to need to learn how to do this with good balance eventually, but for now, you can use a chair. So, let's try it again on the other foot. Weight on your forefoot, the heel moves back and forth, and you're pivoting on the forefoot or the ball of your foot. Uh, for swivels, we are going to use the inside pivot. So this way is inside, and this way is outside. Okay, so step the second is you're going to learn to change weight between these two sides. So we're going to start with, uh, how about standing on the right, okay? So you're going to start with your toe pointed towards the outside of your body, the knee bent. This is super duper important to have the knee bent. If you don't have the knee bend, you're doing something completely different. So with the knee bend, you're going to do your pivot with your chair if you need it, and then you're going to switch feet. You do a pivot, and then you switch feet. You do a pivot, and then you switch feet. Pivot, switch feet, pivot, switch feet. Now, this is a part you want to practice a lot before we go on to the next step. Uh, but since this video is only five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and hurry along and do the next step anyways. So here it is. Next step. Moving your feet ever so slowly wider apart when you take your steps. So I do my pivot, and then I slightly step to the side. I do my pivot, and I slightly step to the side. Pivot inwards, step to the side. Bent knees, pivot inwards, step to the side. Okay. One thing I want to make sure that you note is that what is happening up here is a little different in terms of rotation than what is happening with the rest of my body below the waist. There is a gentle rotation all the way through the spine, blah, 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 anatomy, blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> essentially, it rotates a little extra as we move down the spine. So I'm thinking of keeping my head forward. My shoulders might move back and forth a little bit, but I'm not trying to completely stabilize from here to here because that's actually technically impossible. You're going to be rotating your spine no matter what. The second thing I want you to make sure to take note of is that this is not a flat move. That means there is a little bit of a bounce in between. Not a big bounce, but it's not flat. As you shift weight, there should be a natural pulse between each step. And tip number three is what the hell is this leg doing when you're not standing on it? That's a damn good question. Basically what the non-standing leg does is hang out and look pretty. So you pivot, it comes with your body. See that? If I'm going to take a wide step, this leg pivots with my body so that the feet stay approximately lined up. Alrighty, so putting it all together, it looks like this. Now this is an extremely slow swivel. They should eventually be a lot faster. 
but all the same rules apply. Just because you get really fast doesn't mean you let go of any of your rules and start doing anything wonky. <laughs> so it takes a lot of practice uh, building it from the ground up, layering on all the pieces as you go along, and it's not so easy as seeing it and then just doing it, at least for most people, and it wasn't for me. So, hope that helped. Hi! Like this video, leave a comment, or visit my website. Thanks!